good morning once again. Um, welcome to uh, Strength for the Day. Week 12. <laughs> wow. Already. So we have concluded our look at uh, the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, self control, temperance. And how that's such an important part of our life. Over the next uh, few weeks, we're going to uh, look at the gifts of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Christian life is lived in the Spirit. We walk in the Spirit. We live in the Spirit. We fellowship with the Spirit. Our, our lives are meant to be lived in, in real intimacy with uh, the Holy Spirit. So, the fruit, and now we move on to... Uh, the gifts. The gifts of the Spirit in the New Testament are primarily primarily mm -hmm. uh, listed in three portions of Scripture. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12, uh, verses uh, 4 to 11, if you want to write that down. 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11. Second section is Romans chapter 12, verses 6 to 8. Romans 12, 6 to 8. And the third section is Ephesians 4, 7 to 11. So we're going to work through all of those and just talk about the gifts of the Spirit. Paul interestingly says, verse 1, 1 Corinthians 12, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I, I don't want you to be ignorant. I don't want you to be unaware. I want you to understand them. I want you to know about them. So we're going to take time to help us know, learn together about the gifts of the Spirit over the next few weeks I think it's going to take so take, a while. Uh, <coughs> take over here Mrs. Drisner so we've just finished up the polka fruit, dot lady the fruit of the spirit and the fruit of the spirit of course is that beautiful uh, aroma that is in each of our lives and scripture tells us that we are all every single one of us as believers to be walking in the fruit of the spirit we are to be um, exercising all of those fruit, love, joy, uh, patience, uh, self-control. Those are all things that we as believers need to be uh, Demonst growing, demonstrate. growing in our lives and without excuse. There's, there's, you can't say, oh, I can't have one of those. No, the scripture is very clear. The fruit is one. And we all, as believers, need to be exercising and growing that fruit in our lives. The gifts of the Spirit, I think, is where people get a little confused between these two. And, but the gifts of the Spirit operates a little differently. These are gifts that are um, given to each one of us. Now, each one of us does have a gift, but we don't necessarily have all of them. Um, we may have more than one. We may have several, but these are gifts that are given to each of us. And I think sometimes we think, well, I don't have a gift. You know, I don't think God's given me a gift because we, we think it's going to show up like a big birthday party. And all of a sudden, God's going to plop this gift right in front of us and it's going to be so obvious. But I've learned over the years that the gifts that operate within us are gifts that are given to us by the Holy Spirit, but many, many times they are in conjunction with our own natural giftings. In other words, the giftings that God has placed within us from the moment we were born. Um, and so some of you have very obvious giftings, um, very off obvious giftings of generosity, very obvious giftings of, of teaching, very obvious uh, gifts of giving, um, but some of us, you know, we're, we're not so sure exactly what our gift is. We not really, we sort of don't feel like we, we fit into any of those major categories. So we're going to talk about each gift uh, over the next several weeks. And, and I assure you that by the time we're done, every single one that's listening, every single one that's um, participating in these little devotionals will be able to recognize the exact gift that the Holy Spirit has given you, that God has given you in order to, to just give that, to be a blessing uh, to the community of believers, to your uh, family, to whoever it is that you are in community with. So, I like it when you make big promises. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a promise. Good. And, and we need to understand 1 Corinthians chapter 
uh, 12 and verse number 7. To each one is given. Mm -hmm. Talking about the gifts of the Spirit. To each one is given. Every one of you has a gift. Each one of you. To each one is given. So uh, there's something God's given to you that needs to be used. And so I'll end by taking you to uh, a portion of Scripture in 2 Timothy 1 and verse 6. Where it says we need to stir up the gift of God which is in us. Mm -hmm. Stir up. Uh, other versions translate a little differently. New Living Translation. Fan into flames the gift that's in. So stir up, fan into flames. Uh, Orthodox Jewish Bible uses the word rekindle. So we spend time in the summer at our at our seasonal site at Beautiful Living Waters and uh, my job is to get up in the morning and get the fire going mostly because I'm the one who wants to sit there the most <laughs> and fires don't keep going easy they don't start easy and you have to keep stirring them up fanning the flame uh, rekindling the gift you make sure the fire keeps going so uh, discover your gift take responsibility for it keep the keep the flame uh, going so because God's given all of us gifts so for Christmas I uh, I got a few gifts one of them was a thousand piece puzzle I started it on Christmas afternoon today is June the 11th it is not done yet <laughs> this is a difficult, difficult, difficult puzzle. And I have to work at this gift to maximize the beauty that it has to offer. And the gifts you have have to be worked at. You have to stir them up. You have to take the responsibility of uh, using them seriously. So we're going to go on a journey together and learn together. And Donna promises you that every one of you is going to know your gift by the end. So we'll uh, you, write, you, you write her mean messages <laughs> if uh, we haven't communicated clearly after three weeks or so. Oh. So, Hey, Bootsy, why don't you just close in prayer and commit our day to the Lord. Amen. So, Father, we thank you again for this day. We thank you again for your word, how it can encourage, how it can challenge us, how it leads and guides us. I thank you for your word, Father. And I just pray you'll be with each one today, and I pray, oh God, that you will help us to um, just press forward, just keep on keeping on, Father. Yes, and, yes, yes. and really, as your word says, learn to desire the gifts, Father, that you have given within each of us, and then have the courage, Father, to just um, grow those gifts within us and share them with those around us. And Father, as we've just finished up the fruit of the Spirit, I pray, O oh God, that you will continue to just bring that into our remembrance. That each day, Father, we can all just walk in that fruit, uh, walk in your goodness, walk in your faith, walk in your generosity, Father. And we just pray, O oh God, that that will overflow to the people that uh, we are in community with. I thank you for your word, and I just pray you'll be with each one today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Happy Thursday, everyone. Be back tomorrow. A uh, reminder to uh, neighborhoodians, we meet for prayer in our sanctuary, 10 to 11, Monday to Friday. Be happy to have you join us. Share joy and share peace wherever you go today. Bye.